thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be putting away a lot of photo cards um, from a lot of different groups because I've been holding on to my mail for a while debating on making a video and it's just gotten to the point where I really really just need to put them away. So um, I just decided to go ahead and film it. <laughs> so this is my first YouTube video ever and I do apologize if I'm a little bit awkward or um, quiet at times or say weird things. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not used to being in front of a camera, so I don't know how I'm gonna mm, behave. <laughs> I tried to film this before and it just was- it didn't go well. <laughs> I'll just say that. It didn't really go that well. So this time, hopefully I'll be a little bit more prepared. And uh, I'll just go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna start with this binder. This is my largest binder out of every binder that I own and it's just for DK of 17 because I have the most stuff of him probably. Um, DK is like my old of olds I think. Maybe one of two. <laughs> but he's really up there and uh, I only have like four things to put in here but I this is my favorite binder so I want to start with it. So the first thing I have is this um, HMV card from Director's Cut of Sinclair. Obviously this is not a DK card, but I thought it would deserve this little place of honor because I don't have anything that is a non-album PC that is this old. So this is like pretty special to me and someone was really nice and just sent this to me. So if you're watching this, thank you so much for this Sinclair. It really means a lot to me. And I'm just gonna put him here, so. Special little spot for Sinclair. And next thing is like way, way towards the back. <laughs> Cause everything else is kind of gonna stay the same probably for like a really long time, unless I get really lucky. It's something from Faces Sun. And it's gonna go here, so. I have this card. This is the YZY pre-order benefit for Faces Sun, and I thought it would go nice here. <laughs> so I think his like his round one is also in this same outfit. So I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to plan for those YZY rounds because every time you think it's gonna be the last one, they just announce another one, and everything you plan for just doesn't matter. <laughs> and lastly. Um, I just have these two dream album PCs. It's limited A and limited D, which I have like a plan, kind of, but I don't have like any of these cards yet because I'm waiting on some group orders because Weavers was really slow and yeah, so <laughs> that's it for this one. Next I have this binder. This is for my next three biases. <laughs> In 17, I collect the top four, so yeah, that's what this is. And I have kind of a lot, I think, for me. <laughs> Don't look at this, <laughs> it's really empty. Um, this is my top three. I mean, actually, two through four, I guess. I don't really have an order, though. It kind of moves around a lot, so they're pretty consistent, at least in the top four. Is this? Oh no, it's this one. <laughs> okay, yay, finally. Um, I'm mostly done with Junghan and Sungwon, but Minghao has, has um, been giving me trouble, or maybe I just haven't been trying that hard. <laughs> so I just have like a few missing here and there, but kind of especially around here. But we're putting stuff here, so that's really nice. These are from. Sorry, I heard a noise. <laughs> These are from the Hangary albums. <laughs> and for some reason, Ming House cards are just really difficult for this. And I'm still. No, I have one more. Oh my god. <laughs> I have this one. I'm just gonna put it here. This is from the set version. But I'm still missing one more set version and both of the Hana versions 
unfortunately, but at least the other ones are done. And I'm completing this page because I just finished semicolon. Thank God. Anyways, the first time I traded for this card, it arrived a little bit messed up, like damaged. So I had to trade for it again, but we got it, so that's all good. And I'm also completing this page. <laughs> again, I had these cards at one point, but they got traded away for reasons. And I'm just really happy that I have them again because this card was haunting my dreams, to be honest. Nothing for Ataka. This card is on the way, but I think it might be lost. Unfortunately. Ooh, and that card will be the last one that I need. <laughs> because I have this one now. Thankfully, I got it in a go. So, reversion is completely done. Everything else is also completely done. I have like one more thing. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Face of Sun has so many cards. I was like, where, literally, where are the Kinos? Yeah. <laughs> I finally have this thing, and it was the last Kino that I needed at all for 17, so. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. Just completed so many pages. <laughs> But that is it for this binder. And next is another 17 binder, so <laughs> stay tuned. This is my OT13 binder, I guess. I don't really know what else to call it. It's kind of like just everyone else. <laughs> and, uh, it, well, sorry, it's noisy around here. Vroom, vroom. Um, also just like non-album stuff that is not DK in general. So first I have this to put here. This is Sun Kwan's Director's Cut Lenticular PC, which I already have actually, but <laughs> this was given to me and I want it to have a spot, I guess. So I'm just gonna put it there and I know that this page is <laughs> a little bit depressing, but we're not gonna talk about it. One card for this page. Uh, if it's not apparent, I'm like trying to do sets which are just gonna be like the other nine members that I don't fully collect and just for certain like album versions or stuff like that. So I decided to try to do sets for Hangare but only for like one PC for Hana version <laughs> and that's all I have and then one PC for the set version. And I actually have one for this page too. I have this Vernon. Hello. Okay. And then these woozies. They just live here. That's fine. Uh, then. Um, these are kind of random. I don't collect woozy, but he's one of my bias records, so I have <laughs> I have a lot of his photo cards. And I had no reason to get these. Is it the right order? I think these are numbered. I don't think it really matters since they live here alone. <gasps> I had it backwards. <laughs> Anyways, maybe I should trade for the other two as well so I can have a little a woozy spot. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the next thing that I have is um, 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 <laughs> a lot of wanted. I don't really want to talk about it, but <laughs> yeah, basically my I had like a group order that I joined and I put Wanu as my top choice for the album PCs because by that point I had just completed everything else. But now I'm like, maybe I should be claiming that Minghao that might be lost, but then I'll be kicking myself if it comes in the mail. So. Not really sure what to do. Jesus, hang on. <laughs> yeah, if it's not obvious, um, 96 line are kind of my records in general, so that's why I had just have so many. And there's no rhyme or reason for some of these pages. Like, 
I just want with these cards. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up, hang on. <laughs> Is that good? Hang on. And, oh, I planned ahead. <laughs> I knew I was getting it like five million. <laughs> That's way exaggerated, but I knew I was getting a lot of these. Should I put these in age order? I don't know if it really matters. Also, some cards are double sleeved just because um, I went through a phase where I was double sleeving everything, but then it wasn't sustainable. And I'm not gonna like undouble sleeve something unless I'm desperate, I guess, for that smaller sleeve. Okay, that's it for like um, album stuff. Oh my god, wait, how far back do I need to go? Hang on. <laughs> I just have a couple of things for like Face the Sun. Okay, I guess they can go here. So, I have these, which are also- it's the same thing that the DK one was, but I also claimed these two from the same go. It's the YZY Pob for Face of Sun. And I actually- I have a lot more YZY stuff that's like on the way at some point. And maybe even on hand, I don't know, I haven't looked, but- so I'll probably have to add another page or something or sell those. Don't decide. Okay, lastly, I have these PCs from the touring VOD thing. This is like the other nine members. <laughs> I have like a small binder where I put all the my top four for these kind of things where you get a set. And I just put the other nine here, I guess. Yes, okay. <laughs> Just making sure that's a page. Also, I think... Hmm. Hmm. I'm curious about the picture, but I think that you maybe have to lay this out in kind of a, a weird way. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> yeah, I don't... <laughs> If you don't have all of them, I feel like making the picture is gonna be uh, really hard, so I'm not even gonna try to do that. Oh my god, I made a mess now. Now I have to figure out the order. Boop, boop, boop. Yo, that was out of frame. I'm sorry. It's hard to, I don't know, be a YouTuber. I don't know how to do it. That's it for this binder. Next is my twice binder, which is really lacking a bit. I also just, I'm really sorry that none of my binders have like cute covers on them. I'm a little bit indecisive when it comes to putting stuff there. So like, unless something is already I don't know, like an item, like that Jun Han thing, that I don't really want to mess with anything. Yeah, those were all just pre-order things, whatever. <laughs> Let me get my stack. So, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff that needs to go in here. I think this is all twice, right? Yes, this is all twice. <laughs> um, but I still have a lot that is on the way, and I'm still missing a lot, because twice just has a lot of cards. So it might be a slow journey, but I actually have something for this page, which is a little bit nuts. <laughs> Most of like the front of this binder is just going to be completely empty. Yeah, so basically I am only collecting Sana and Momo and like some OT9 sets, which I feel like every twice collector does OT9 sets to some degree. And this is also the only binder that I made fillers <laughs> for, so the blue ones I think are Sana. Yes, <laughs> the blue ones are Sana, and then I made Momo ones, 
And then I guess for some of these earlier eras, I figured that if I like eventually buy the album, then I could just keep my pulls in the third column or something like that. Yeah, only for a few, um, but I do have something for this page. I don't have like any of these albums, so this is just cards that I bought or traded for because I mean, they're on my wish list, so I'll accept trades for them. Yeah, these are <laughs> these are super empty. Wait, but I do have one for this one. So this is a what is love card. I feel like what is love is a an era that's like kind of difficult to trade for unless you already have other what is love cards. But thankfully, I've been able to chop. What? I've been able to cross trade um, pretty decently for a lot of other eras. Yeah, this is that one set where everybody's in their pajamas. I feel like everybody does. And then I wanted to do this one with the tricolor things on the side. I just think they look really pretty. <laughs> and I just have this one sauna and no momo, which is kind of a theme, to be honest. And I have two things for like summer nights. So this is one of the OT9 sets I wanted to do. It's like the water border or the pool border thing. I only have Jonghyun. But I do have Cheyong's on the way, so that'll be two cards <laughs> from this page. And this is the other one that I wanted to do. It's the, the Dance the Night Away logo. And I have Sanus, which is nice because she's my bias. <laughs> That's it for that one. Yeah, this I stopped putting in like white ones because I was running out of white sleeves. But as long as I know what I meant, I think it's fine. <laughs> this is the OT9 set that I'm doing for Yes or Yes era. It's just the... <laughs> you know. <laughs> and... Yeah, this is the sauna page, so I actually have like... Three sauna cards to put here. Also... Okay, yeah, I guess this is the right direction. I was like, does it go? <laughs> it's hard to tell. But the back makes me think this is right. And I'm just gonna put these in here. I feel like once I have more cards, that's when I decide what should go where. And just based on these borders being so different, they're probably gonna change once I have some more. Nothing for Momo. <laughs> Nothing for your guess. God, get out of here. Yay. I have this one. If Sana's alone on a page, it's an OT night set. Just trust it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the one that I wanted to do for Fancy. I think it's really pretty. And yes, I do have this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Big moment for me, personally, because I've been trying to complete this set for like two years now. <laughs> Thank you to the person who traded with me. I think I traded for that. And uh, these ones, yeah. I have a lot more for Sana than for Momo because I was collecting Sana first and added Momo later. And Momo's kind of hard, to be honest. A lot of people really like a Momo, so. It's like that. Um, Feel Special also has two OT9 sets that I'm working on. So it's this one, which is like the music video outfits. There's like another set that's similar to this one, but I already had this Mina, so I just decided to do this one. And this one. <laughs> which is a gold glitter border set. They're all holding a little diamond. Um, sorry for throwing this. Um, yeah. Finishing this one too. And I've also been trying to complete this for like two years, so that's also really exciting. And I have some... Like three Momos. That's fine. But I don't remember where they go.
Okay. <laughs> I think they go up here. Ooh. Nothing for more and more, but Sana's done. <laughs> done for Momo. <laughs> of my existence. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for that noise. I actually dropped that on accident. I didn't mean to kill her. I'm gonna put it... I have no idea which one it goes with. I think that Sana's like the weird one in that set. The sets. I don't know. I think the sets are kind of a construct. <laughs> but... <gasps> this is almost done. <sighs> Chan, Chan is like missing from like most of these sets from here on out. I think I have this now, but I need to put it away. <laughs> Victoria, if you're watching this, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for my Momo. <laughs> this is a really sad. <laughs> this is my Momo page for real. <laughs> but I do have like this. Whoa. And two of these scratch cards, which. Two separate people gave to me in trades, like, they just included it as a little surprise for me. <laughs> Thank you to both of you, I don't know <laughs> if you would watch this. But it's kind of funny that that just happened twice in the same week too, so... <laughs> I feel like people just have a lot of extras, so they're like, please take this, like, please take these moments off my hands. <laughs> mm. <gasps> Yo. Yeah, there's so many of these. So you might notice it's a completely different day and time of day and I'm wearing different clothes. Um, I had to stop filming the other day, so <laughs> I'm just gonna try to pick up where I left off. And I'm almost done with this binder, so... We are like almost finishing this version. And once again, I don't have Chaeyoung's, but I have a trade, and she's on the way. So hopefully, next time I'll be completing this, and probably completing Momo too. Don't look at that. That's my Jimmy page. And lastly, <laughs> I just have this. This is like um really unorganized, but I don't really know. I just put it here. That's kind of a nice little spot. This is her Target exclusive, by the way. And, um, <laughs> that's it for this one. Next is my Luna binder. This is one of my absolute favorite binders that I own just because I have so much stuff in here and honestly Luna is like my favorite group to collect which is a little bit sad to say now but um yeah i hope that somehow in the future the girls are able to continue maybe <laughs> with another company or something but i have a lot to put in here so let's just get started so i think i already added pages that i would have needed to add at this point and I just have like a couple of things for midnight. So I have like a wish list up right now that's trying to get one card for each member that I don't fully collect for each version of this album and also and era. I did it for Futa already, 
but I think it would be really nice if I could do that for these arrows, but it's been a little bit um, slow, I guess. But every now and then I get offers for trades. So right now I just have kind of this bonus page for all of those. And this is all that I have for those versions. And then for C version, I kind of started putting them on their own page but this is basically how it would look. So normally I collect Hustle and Chu, and Hustle was obviously not in this era, so I collected a different top three and added Jin Soul. And then the other eight members would be on like the next page for that version, but yeah, here, <laughs> it's only four cards, but this is like the most that I have for one of those. Um, next is and era and I think that I was just going to put these like bonus cards from the same thing like in the middle so that I don't have to add a page but yeah obviously here I collected a top four um, oh, why is this page dirty <laughs> sorry um, and I'm still missing a couple I'm missing like two for Jinsel and one for our Kim Lip, unfortunately. And also have this Yojin. And I also have a couple for D version, so I'm gonna put one of them here. Oh my god. Hold on, hey. Also, and one Heejin too. Next, I have like one non album card for Flip That for Hustle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this era just like never ends. And I think it can go right there. I do have like another one that is in this same outfit that I was planning on putting here, so that's why it was a little fillier. Right, next I have a couple from Luminous. I'm still not done with Luminous because I'm still missing Kim Lip's regular version and right now I just have the group card taking up that spot um, but this one is the Orbit Japan version and now Hustle is done <laughs> which is good and yeah <laughs> so obviously I could not collect Chu for this because she didn't um, join this comeback which was really sad and should have been a sign but I was in denial next I have a couple of concert things I have this Yojin PC which was from the concert that was in February last year I think that's when it was um, I was going to sell or trade it but I decided actually to keep Yojin's cards <laughs> if I get them, so I took down my sale post for that one and just decided to keep it. I also collected all of the cards for the most recent concert, the one that was in Seoul <laughs> recently, and I was not originally planning on collecting all of these, but I think I was just kind of emo with everything going on that I thought I should just collect everything and because it honestly wasn't that hard to do and I joined a couple of goes and was able to get sorted like most of what I needed I only had to do a couple of trades um, but at this point I'm only missing this cherry which is on the way to me because now I have this E which was one of the last ones that I needed and you might notice that 
Hustle and Kimlip are not on any of these pages, and that's because I put them separately. <laughs> and I think I had a plan for here. So this is the random PC for the mood lamp from the VIP merch for this concert. Um, if you don't collect Luna, every time they have one of these online concerts, they always have like a VIP package that comes with a ton of stuff and then there will be like one item that comes with one random out of 12 photo card. And so far I've collected all of Hustles for that. Um, even the one that I didn't even buy, I was able to find hers for sale. But I did trade for this one. And the back is supposedly hollow, but you can't really tell. <laughs> and I think that I had a plan for this page because there was also a concert photo book that I'm still waiting on my go for. But with each photo book, you get one random PC out of 10 and also a complete full set of 10. And I think I was going to put Hustle's random PC and then the set PC, something like that. <laughs> so then those would go in the middle. No idea what my plan was for Kim Lip actually, but um, my music taste is actually sending a bonus random PC for the people who bought the photo book because they did not shuffle very well and I guess enough people complained that they were like, yeah, we messed up. <laughs> so they're sending everyone an additional PC. So keep that in mind if you're planning on buying secondhand those photo cards that people got double what they paid for. So they should not be that expensive since everybody's getting like a bonus. And next I have this Yojin PC from the Wonderwall contents package thing. I hosted a go for these and I kept these three photo cards and uh, nobody claimed Miss Yojin, but I really like this photo card and I haven't really been able to sell it and lately I've been keeping Yojin's cards so I decided I'll just keep it and I'll just put it back here I suppose. Right. And yeah, okay, the last thing that I have for this binder is the jacket photo cards, which I have a lot of. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, so I bought one jacket during the pre-order period, which was in like, when was it? It was in like September, it was a really long time ago. And at the time they were guaranteeing like three random out of 12 photo cards. And they took so long to send it out and also removed two from the card set. So they also sent with every one of those jackets a full set of other cards. <laughs> like these cards are different from the random ones. So people are referring to this as the apologies set of cards and with my jacket order they actually kind of messed up to my benefit and gave me two apology sets and two sets of random three <laughs> so i was only supposed to get three of these and i actually ended up with six and i have an entire second set of these and i haven't really decided what to do with it yet there were a lot of cards were these jackets like in addition to the two sets of like the apology set plus the round one set they also put these jackets on sale like twice and the second pre-order <laughs> had a different set of cards that you could get oh this is what the backs looks like by the way this is the back of the random PCs. These are the ones that I got. And then this is the back of the apology set PCs. They all look like that. 
I think. Yes. <laughs> then that makes three cards per member. But there was also, I think, like a fan call opportunity or some kind of prize. I honestly don't even remember what it was that people were entering for. Like, I want to say it was some kind of fan call, but basically they had a winner set, which was different from round one, different from the apology set, and different from round two. So there are actually four cards per member <laughs> if you want to fully collect one person. But I am not going to be collecting the winner set. People are kind of selling them for a high-ish price. Like, not crazy, you know, if you really want it, it's honestly not that unreasonable. But I just don't want to spend $30 on one photo card right now. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. And I do have a claim for a round two PC. I did not buy two jackets. I only bought the one, even though it was insanely expensive. And I live in Texas, so like God knows if I'll get to use it. But that's why I'm leaving these spots, because um, Kimlip is like definitely in my top three bias line right now, <laughs> since it kind of changes. And I'm definitely going to get Hustles, that's who I claimed as like my priority for round two. Um, and Kimlip's is really cute, so it might be a little difficult for me to find for sale. But I have like, any of these are for trade <laughs> for that round two. And the bonus, like, apology set that I have, like, any three, maybe even four of these are also for trade for that Kim Lip, so hit me up, I guess, <laughs> if you end up with it and want any of these. Yeah, um, that's probably gonna be, like, maybe, actually, I still have the photo book thing on the way. I was gonna say that's probably the last time I'm gonna put stuff in here for, like, a while. Um, but I will get those photo book PCs eventually, and that was like the very last thing that went up for sale, um, before the boycott started, and they kicked out Chu and all, and, uh, it's a little sad to talk about, I guess, because Luna is definitely like my old girl group. And they were like the second group that I ever decided to collect. And so that's why I have so much <laughs> stuff in here. Um, just because I've been collecting them for a while now. Yeah, let me try not to get emotional about it, but I think Chu probably has a good chance of continuing activities that are worth collecting. Like, I've joined a group order for her maps magazine um, and I don't even really like to collect magazines but I really wanted to support her and thought having a magazine with her face on it would be really nice and hopefully the other girls that are still in BBC can get out <laughs> since clearly they really want to get out and if they continue idle activities, I'll probably still try to collect them so long as they're outside of BBC because, yeah, let me not get pro profane, but like at that company. So the last like larger binder that I have, or I shouldn't say larger, this is honestly pretty small. It's like the smallest, <laughs> the smallest one that I have. Um, the last A4 size binder, I'll say, is this one, and this has two of my kind of smaller uh, collections, collections that I just recently started, um, but I wanted to put in a big binder. And so this has my Le Seraphim collection, <laughs> these being how PCs apparently, as well. <laughs> and also my Fromis 9 collection, which they're both pretty small, I only collect technically two members for each group. Obviously one of those members for Le Seraphim is <laughs> Chewan, but I also have started collecting Inche as well, and some Otinarin, or what am I saying? 
some OT5 sets, kind of. So I have a couple from the Wii First version to put away that someone gave to me. Thank you so much for giving these to me because yeah, this collection has been pretty slow because I have not been wanting to dish out the money to just buy these. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't just flip that around. <laughs> um, I decided to do OT5 for the QR codes just because I think people have plenty of those and they're not selling them for that much. And I think that this concept is really cute. So this is like the layout that I wanted to do. It's gonna be like Chewan on top and then in Cheiro and then the other members like in the middle. So it'll be like five in like a T shape. And I guess this was my contact version page. I didn't put fillers for this binder. <laughs> I kind of don't put fillers in general, just to be honest. The only binder that I do that for is twice. Um, just because I had the energy to do it that one time. <laughs> but normally I just like put a page and I'm like, I'll remember. And most of the time I actually don't remember, so maybe that's not so smart. But yeah, this is all that I have for Chewan. It's just these two. And I think I was going to do like a four pattern kind of thing. And this was just a pop that I got from a K-pop store locally. And I just have this one Sakura card that I got from a tree. And this set I wanted to do an OT5 set for. Yeah, surprisingly not this one. <laughs> but I think this one was so pretty, honestly. I kind of like these cards a little better. Or maybe I'm just trying to be different. I don't know. <laughs> and lastly, I just have these... Uh, unit PCs from the compact version which I'm only missing one now and I have like three of this one so if anybody wants to trade for the Yunjin Sakura version hit me up on Instagram I guess but yeah I guess this will be a tea maybe I should put fillers in this one I don't really know this is one of those collections that's just so empty that I'm not really sure what the page is supposed to look like. And honestly, it's kind of the same for Framis, but I have a lot of Framis PCs that are on the way from Bai because those PCs are actually pretty cheap on Bai. So for Framis, I only collect G1 and Jisun. And I do not have very many of their photo cards in general, but I do have this PC, which is from their Two Day album. Yes. So Jisun has been my bias in Promise for a while, and I kind of recently, like after watching the Hype Games, <laughs> I added Jisun to my bias line, and yeah, I just love Promise's music. No idea what this is for. <laughs> See how empty this is? So I feel like this would really benefit from some fillers, but I just have not gotten around to it. Oh, I have these ones to put away. Okay, I do think this is right. Anyways, I got into Promise like musically i got into their music before fun came out but after love bomb came out there was kind of a dead period if you follow from us at all <laughs> there was a dead period around them where they just were not coming out with new music but i got really into them and i remember a few people that i followed on twitter were like super excited when fun came out because they were like oh my god finally some some good food <laughs> Like some promise music's finally coming out <laughs> and then there was like another dead period it's it's just been a ride and i'm really happy for them now that they are actually getting some activity and coming out with new music and i just really love their style 
basically. I do think that there are some similarities in Luna's music and Promise's music, like the quirkiness. So if you like Luna, I honestly recommend listening also to Promise because it has that quirkiness that early Luna really um, thrived with, you know? Now I'm moving on to my A5 size binders. I have like six of these, something like that. Yeah, I just looked at my shelf <laughs> to check. Um, but these two are, they house the same thing. And basically what I do is I put my top four for 17 in these for anything that is not album related or I think I guess they can be album related. <laughs> Anything that is not an album PC specifically that I collect all four of them for or if they're like part of a set that you get with something, I put their four cards in here as opposed to the OT13 binder that I have for the other nine. So, yeah. <laughs> and as far as like the order that I have them in, it it doesn't mean anything. I just wanted these two to be on top because they were my top two. So yeah, just don't think too hard, I guess. <laughs> don't read into it. Okay, so the first thing that I have are these Little Wishes PCs, the thingy, like the advent calendar. And I don't know why John Hans is like in a dark room with the lights off or something when everyone else has these really well lit selfies. But John Hans, I already had. I was able to buy secondhand from someone like right after it came out last year because Little Wishes came out before I had started collecting 17 and at the time I was only collecting Johan so I was really only looking for his and recently when they had the Black Friday sale um, somebody hosted a group order for the little wishes photo cards and I was able to claim the rest of my top four also I do apologize <laughs> for these pages um, these are the Amifa pages, but I think that the ones that I bought this time were not, like, temperature controlled or something, because they just seem really small and squeaky. <laughs> Whoa! So yeah, normally they fit the dragon shield size sleeves perfectly, but these ones in particular just seem like they're just barely too small, like in all directions. And I bought 10 from one person and I bought 10 from another person, like 10 packs. And yeah, one of those sets of 10 were just, <laughs> they're all like this, like too small, kind of wrinkled. So I just think that they had them in the sun or in the heat or something and they just shrunk in the package. This is another binder. It's the exact same thing as the other one. I just ran out of room. So this is the next one. And I kind of just put things like in order as they come out. So I have a couple of like newer things to put in, so they'll just go at the end. And first I have the Season's Greetings cards from this year. They look like this, and the backs have little drawings on them, which are so adorable. And yeah, for my top four, only DK had this like darker concept, and all the other ones had the like pink adorable one. <laughs> But yeah, they're really cute, and I actually did not end up buying any Season's Greetings this year. Not yet, anyways. I don't know. I keep having thoughts. 
Like, I really want new jeans for some reason, even though I don't even collect them like that. It just had a really cute aesthetic, and I felt like all of the stuff that comes with it is all stuff that I would use. Because the main reason why I didn't buy a Season's Greetings this year is because I just felt like I wasn't going to use all the stuff, you know? <laughs> but it, these cards were just so cute. So yeah, I just joined a group order for those. And the last thing that I have to put in here is those twerking PCs that I put away earlier, that I put away the other nine. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing the back, because out of context, they look a little bit silly to me, because it doesn't make a picture <laughs> when they're in here. Um, I should look up what the actual layout needs to be to make the picture. Like, maybe I should have tried it before putting them away permanently. There's dust in there. Hang on. Whoa! So squeaky. Nice. And now I think this is the only blue hair Nihao PC that I have. Because this is like purple, right? Close enough. Next, I have this binder. And I know that it says Junghan on it, but it's not just Junghan. You know? It's a lot of Junghan. <laughs> but I also have some Sunghan things in here, and it's basically just anything that I thought didn't really fit anywhere else, and I don't want to get rid of them. So I have like some random trading cards, trading card sets, and also the D-Icon. These for Junghan here, and now I have also Sunghans for this one. This was from the 101 photo cards set thingy. Uh, one of my friends gave me Sunquan's set as a gift, so thank you. <laughs> thank you, McKinley, for giving me these. And I'm just gonna put these back here. See how much better these pages are? So these are how they regularly fit when they're not weirdly shrunk. Just look at that slide. It just goes <laughs> so nice and easy. Wow. I loved their photo shoot that had these little stuffed animals, but I think Jonghan's is so ugly. I don't know what this is. If anybody knows what creature this is supposed to be, like, oh, it's got a grip. Hang on. Please let me know what animal this is, because it's- Why are the eyes like so dirty? Like someone's little white dog. You know those white dogs? <laughs> when people don't clean their eyes and then they get this like- Rusty goop? That's what it is, by the way. It's like rust. It's like the same thing. It's iron oxidizing on their fur from their slobber and stuff, it turns it red. Just like rust. Fun fact. Anyways. So the last binder that we're gonna look at is this one. And maybe it's a little bit anticlimactic, I guess, to end with this one. Because this is not really a collection, necessarily. This is the binder that I use for all the cards for people that I love but don't necessarily collect. So random albums that I bought or cards that I bought <laughs> um, impulsively. So the first thing that I have are these two MB cards from her album Color. This album, this song glitch was what introduced me to MB in the first place. And it's like my favorite k-pop song of 2022 if you have not listened to glitch go watch the music video like right now it's so 
so good and changed my life a little, you know? But yeah, these cards basically only came one to an album and there's like 20 cards. So unless MP is your old bias, you probably would not collect it fully. Yeah, so these two were my pulls from the albums that I bought. And then somebody that I follow was selling um, his extra cards. So I bought these two since I don't have cards in these outfits. And hopefully, you know, if I see these in the future for sale um, for a good price, I'll probably try to buy it if I don't already have one in that outfit because there's like a lot of different outfits for these cards. Um, but a lot of them are kind of like, they're kind of the same. None of them are selfies, by the way. I don't think they are. Like, most of these are taken by someone else. Um, but she's so cute and obviously really obsessed with these nails. And me too, to be honest. I really love those nails. And the very last thing for this video <laughs> are these Adora cards. So I bought these off of someone who had a lot of extra cards, but this is not all of the cards from this album. I think that there's actually four cards in total, so hopefully I can just find the other one for sale someday and then just have my little page <laughs> but they were selling these for like three dollars i thought they were really cute i haven't seen this album at all at any of my local stores and since i don't really collect adora at this time i probably wouldn't buy it even if i saw it to be honest even though i do really want to support her um, just financially, I can't really do it right now. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking around if you watched the whole thing. I'm really sorry about the energy drop and maybe my voice getting a little quieter or something. Um, I'm not the only one who lives here, so I am a little bit self-conscious about my voice being heard. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say, so thank you. I'm not really sure how to end this, so...